When a pope goes round Rome or visits neighboring cities in Rome, the Swiss guard, or at least one of the Swiss guards, drive him in a purple car with a special plate number and a Vatican state flag. Here is a very fictional story about Pope Benedict XIV. On a very special day, the Holy Father, Pope Benedict XIV, decided to sneak into the papal car and drive it himself. Very excited, he stepped on the gas pedal and cruised at a very high speed. Wow! An Italian police flagged him down and when the Pope rolled down the glass, the window, the police immediately called his superior. Oh, sir, give him a ticket. I don't care who it is. The law is the law, the superior said. Sir, we have a situation here, please. Can you come forward? I caught someone over speeding, but I think he's more than a VIP. Why? Is he the president of Italy? The officer dead. No, he's not. I think it's God. The officer countered because his driver is the Pope. Remember, the Pope is to be driven by the Swiss guard, but this time around he drove himself and he decided to speed. This is a fictional story. But he says, oh no, driver is the Pope, the passenger is God. The Jews, my brothers and sisters, always required two witnesses apart from the person in question. When there is a case or an issue, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 6 states, on the evidence of two witnesses or of three witnesses, he that is to die shall be put to death. A person shall not be put to death on the evidence of one witness. And it was universally also held that a man's evidence about himself could not be accepted. That is why a Jewish commentary on the law, the Mishnah, makes a similar comment saying a person is not necessarily to be believed when speaking in his or her own defense or her own case. And that is why the popular um, legal axiom, no one can be a judge in his own case. You don't determine your own case. This is the reason why Jesus in today's gospel stresses that not only John testifies on his behalf, but also his father in heaven. And the way his father testifies to Jesus is through the works Jesus performs. He cites his works to call attention, not to himself, but to the power of his heavenly father, which is walking in and through him. Dear friends, what works of Jesus speak to your heart, my heart? our heart most eloquently and why personally the works of jesus that eloquently speaks to me is first and foremost he has always time for each and every one of us he has time for me giving time to each one of us is one of the best gifts that he has given to us because time is part of himself he listens to children, to teenagers, to the sick, to the poor, and even to sinners like me, and possibly you, and most of all, to the elderly. Another one so precious is the gift of his presence in each and every one of us. There is no doubt about that. The Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verse 23, says in these reassuring words, Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. But our problem is that we forget that he is actually present with us. Let us always remember that Jesus is here right now. He is with you there as you listen to this. He is with us because we belong to him. We better therefore make sure that we never forget it. He is Emmanuel, he is with us, and will always be with us. May the good Lord continue to strengthen you and preserve your life at all times. God bless you.